I can understand. I understand. Final made on September 4th to follow up on the assault done by Darren Murphy to uh, West High School student uh, Frank Harrington. And uh, so anyway, this morning we heard uh, we heard Dupont speak. We heard Hopkins speak, who essentially said, "I don't believe I have any expectation of privacy when I'm out in the public. When I'm on the phone, I'd like to be at least told that, informed that I'm uh, being recorded." But he did admit that he was aware of cop lock, that he'd been on cop lock site itself, uh, and that he knows that they they do oftentimes uh, solicit comments and videos. So, yeah, what do what what do you do? What does cop lock do? Cop lock is just a decentralized site. Uh, we we advocate for police accountability. So it's a place where uh, people who have had interactions themselves or witness interactions can document those interactions. And so if you're documenting. Mm -hmm. Cop yep. lock is documenting cops. Fully, exactly. And that detective yeah. already stated in the court that he knows cop lock. Yep, yeah. Uh, everybody involved thus far has that has testified has a knowledge that they're aware of cop lock. And they, you know, which means from its core function is accountability and documentation, shining the spotlight of transparency on actions to then hold the, the uh, aggressors accountable. That's essentially what the site's about. So uh, the last person who testified was West High School's principal, Mary Ellen McGorry. And, uh, you know, she too admitted that, you know, she was familiar with cop lock, but, uh, you know, she, she claimed that she's not a public official, that she's an employee of Manchester. So I don't know what kind of arbitrary differentiation she's what? trying to build in there. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So. What, what's uh, Manchester? Town? Yeah, this is the town, Manchester and here. she's saying that it's not public. She says even though she takes her, her salaries paid for by taxpayers, she's not a public official, but she's an employee of Manchester, which, I don't know, she, she in a previous, I know, in a previous capacity before she was a uh, principal, she actually worked for Hillsborough County Attorneys, which is the same outfit that's that's trying a demo right now, so it's a little incestuous, and she knows, you know, try to, hey, this may be a way that, that uh, my argument may be weakened, you know, by the fact that he is recording a public official, so she's just proactively trying to say, I'm not a public official so it really doesn't make sense to anybody who who has a can think logically or clearly I would say but uh, you know I, and before she went in and testified I saw her and John Hopkins and DuPont out in the hall and uh, you know I, I said hey how did you feel uh, confident in your actions you know and in your role last fall she instead of coming to the aid of a student Frank Harrington who was assaulted by Darren Murphy she she backed Darren Murphy's actions and, and when a demo called her on the phone you know, said, oh, it's, it's under investigation, you know, and, and hung up on him. So it really shows, like, she's more concerned with protecting herself and her colleagues than for the welfare of the students that are at her school. And and uh, this whole 21 years that Adam was facing from these three felony counts of wiretapping are uh, indicative of the uh, the threats and the links that these folks will go to, the people that claim to serve and protect you, but instead they're trying to throw people in cages who... who who make light of their actions and try to hold them accountable. So it's, uh, you know, I'm glad to see there's a, you know, I would say 90 to 100 people in the courtroom this morning, and uh, it's awesome to see the support and to know that uh, people are watching and that people are working together and standing up more. You know, they want, they try to threaten people with years in cages or, or ransoms, fines, but instead of dissuading and having a chilling effect, it's, it's only making more people realize this and, and stand up against it. So, pretty awesome to see. So, do you think we can have him uh, talking to uh, live stream uh, if he comes out? Uh, well, he's currently actually uh, he's currently in jail at Valley Street Jail down the street until this Friday, the third, uh, the seventeenth. He was in a in a related that somewhat uh, indirectly uh, an incident that somewhat indirectly related to this. Uh, that also happened in Manchester. He is now he's serving a two-month sentence with uh, with good time. He'll be out a little before that. But uh, uh, just to briefly bring you up to date, in early 2010, uh, four off-duty Manchester cops beat up a guy named Chris Meklovich outside a bar here called Strange Brew. And right away, the city attorney said we're not going to charge them, hold them accountable. And over a year later, the state attorney general said uh, wasn't the best day in Manchester PD's history, but we're not going to charge them. So about a week after that happened, a demo and, and a few dozen of us went outside the police department right across the street, and uh, you know to express our displeasure and point out the clear double standards. And some people were writing with chalk on the walls, some statements. Some people handing stuff out or having conversations. But a demo, eight, eight of us were arrested that day, including a demo, and uh, he went limp when he was arrested. They charged him with resisting. He wasn't aggressive or anything. He was passive, but he went limp, and uh, they they found him guilty. This judge found him guilty of uh, resisting. And so he appealed it, wanted to argue in front of a jury of his peers, but instead of having that, that date, they uh, sent the letter that had the, the uh, date and time to an address that doesn't even exist. 
So they just told the demo, nope, you have to go sit in the cage. So that's why he's now sitting in there. It was either a bureaucratic error or it was done on purpose, again, to try to target somebody who's, who's trying to uh, hold them accountable. And that's what I think is the more plausible scenario. But all this information from the current stint is at uh, copblock.org slash pledge. And from the, the uh, felony wiretapping case he's now in trial for is at copblock.org slash freeademo. There's a lot of, there's over two dozen background videos and a lot of related posts and media hits and stuff like that. So check it out if you're at all interested. Do you feel uh, you get a lot of uh, a media support from the, uh, the uh, you know, people's media, alternative media, like live streamers? Oh, definitely. Because you, uh, you know, you film the cops. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, you know, throughout history, the people seeking to control others have uh, tried to censor the free flow of information to hide their misdeeds. And so we're fortunate today that the proliferation of technology, such as this live streaming capability or HD cams, has so spread. And then so instead of uh, trying to get an editor of a paper or a big news outlet to, to cover your story and cover it at least balanced, uh, instead of with a pro-government bias that they all have, now we can go around all that and just be journalists ourselves. And that's what we're seeing. The, uh, the clout that these big media establishments ha has had is definitely eroding uh, very fast. And uh, so I'm glad to see, uh, I know for us, for Cobblock, the ability to, to record and uh, put it online is instrumental to document actions that you know people claim to serve and protect us. So it's it's also uh, you know we don't we don't just advocate doing it at the scene and that's that's the end of it. You know some of us are unjustly uh, harassed uh, by their their legalese and stuff. So we continue to, to uh, support each other and and come out and document things and just make it known how this how this works and show people that it doesn't work for us. It works to protect them. So just trying to uh, erode that legitimacy that's claimed and encourage people to realize that they own themselves. So. Thank you. Uh, well, you can always share the uh, live stream because I'm I'm saving them okay. in, in the archive. Okay. So you can always save them.